Hey, I'm Dr. Jesse, and welcome to another one of my videos. In this video, I'm going to be talking about weight loss medications. You may know these medications by names such as Ozempic, Munjaro, Wegovy, Semaglutide, or Sixenda. And these medications are all over social media with celebrities and influencers touting and promoting them for their significant weight loss effects. And that's why in this video, I'm going to be going over what these medications are, how they're used, their side effects, and if they're safe. And at the end of this video, I'm going to share with you my take on these weight loss medications and if I think they're safe and appropriate to be used for weight loss and obesity. So definitely make sure to stick around till the end. With that said, let's get into the video. So what are these new weight loss medications exactly? Like I mentioned, they are called GLP-1 agonists also known as glucagon-like peptide 1 agonists. And they include brand and generic names such as Wegovy, Semaglutide, Ozempic, Munjaro, Sixenda, among a few others. Now, this medication essentially mimics a natural hormone that our body produces called GLP-1. So this hormone or medication works by essentially slowing down our digestive system and making us feel full. It also targets receptors in our brain that also makes us feel full and suppresses our appetite. Therefore, in turn, reducing our total intake of calories and food, which leads to weight loss. Now, these medications are injected, which means uh, depending on which medication you use, you may inject it into your body once a day or some of them only once a week. Now, like with all prescription medications, you do have to get a prescription from your doctor. And as of now, not all insurance companies will cover these medications and therefore it can be costly out of pocket. So what happens when people use these weight loss drugs? Well, many of us have seen the results on social media. We're seeing people lose significant amounts of weight and start slimming down, which is definitely an appeal to most of us. Now, this is true. These medications are very effective, especially when compared to previous weight loss medications. In fact, this is probably the most effective weight loss medication there has ever been. Well, there was once an other drug called Fenfen that was quite effective. However, that was pulled from the market a long time ago for some serious side effects, but I'll get into that a little bit later. However, when you do first use this medication, what people typically notice right away is a significant weight loss. Some people may lose a few pounds a week and in total may end up losing around 15 to 20% or more of their body fat, which again is quite significant. Now it is important to note that these drugs are a lot more effective when paired with healthy lifestyle choices or essentially making healthier changes to your diet and exercise. When you do these two things together, that is when most people experience the most significant results. So now that we understand what these medications are and how they work, let's get into what the side effects are because that is certainly important. So some of the most common side effects that you may experience when taking these medications include upset stomach, uh, constipation, nausea, vomiting, feeling bloated or belching, and maybe a headache and fatigue. Now, there are some other more serious side effects that have been reported, and these include pancreatitis, or essentially the swelling and inflammation of your pancreas. And pancreatitis can be quite a serious complication and disease, and sometimes it can even be deadly. But this is a rare side effect that has been reported. Another rare side effect that has been noted is thyroid cancer. So these companies do recommend that if you have a family history or a history of thyroid cancer to avoid using this drug. Other rare side effects that have been noted to happen also include kidney failure and depression. Of note, I actually have seen someone come into the office complaining of feeling a bit more depressed when taking these medications. So that is something always to keep in mind. Now there has also been an association with bowel obstructions and this can become a serious problem in a surgical emergency. Now, because these drugs are so new, we don't really know all the side effects. So we'll only know the side effects with time and as more and more people use them. 
Now it's also important to note that the companies do report that it is unknown whether or not these weight loss medications are safe to be used with other prescription over-the-counter or herbal weight loss supplements. So now that we understand what these new GLP-1 weight loss medications are, I wanna give you my take on these medications and if I think we should be using them for weight loss and what the reality of using these drugs for weight loss actually is. So the first thing I do wanna talk about is that this is a new medication. And like with all medications, we do have side effects. Sometimes side effects aren't so severe, and in many cases, medications seem to be somewhat benign, but always do carry side effect risks. Now, there was a previous weight loss drug that we should probably talk about called Fenfen that was produced back in the 1990s. Now, this weight loss drug at the time was revolutionary. It was a combination of two drugs, one which was called Fenfluramine, and the other one which was called Fentermine. And together, they essentially helped suppress your appetite, leading to a decreased food and calorie intake. Now, at first, when this drug was brought to market, people did love it, and there was some serious weight loss and significant effects, and people were happy. However, over time, cardiac or heart disease started to be noted, specifically problems with the heart valve. And this was a serious problem as it led people to have surgery on their heart. In addition, this drug also was associated with heart attacks. So in the end, although at first it seemed like a revolutionary weight loss drug, what happened is the FDA pulled the drug from the market because of all these dangerous side effects and it resulted in a billion dollar plus lawsuit. So. I just wanted to note that because it's always important to look at the history of things because sometimes history tends to repeat itself. Now, am I saying that this drug is just as dangerous as that? I'm not saying that, I don't know. You know, we have been using these types of medications for a while now with type two diabetes, but now instead of just using it for type two diabetes, we're now using them for weight loss. So people have been using these drugs for years and we do know, you know, the side effect profile somewhat. So another issue I wanna talk about is that like with any prescription medication, you may become reliant on these medications if you're not fixing your diet and exercise yourself. So what I mean by that is sometimes people are on these new drugs, once they get off of them, they may gain the weight back. And if all they were doing was just taking the medication and not improving their underlying lifestyle, meaning they weren't uh, working on their eating habits or exercise habits, once they get off the drug, they then for will gain the weight back because they don't have the medication to rely on and they weren't eating healthy and changing a lifestyle to begin with. So that can certainly sometimes happen if you're not making the healthy lifestyle changes that you should be making. And leading me on to the next subject is that in the end, this drug really is no different than blood pressure medicine or cholesterol medicine or type two diabetes medicine in that these are all prescription medications that can help address symptoms. But in the end, if you're not taking action to the actual cause, which is your diet and your exercise, then you're never really gonna fix the real problem. So if you don't do that, what tends to happen to most of us is we go on these prescription medications and over time we have to increase our dosage in order to maintain those same effects or add more medications. And this weight loss drug really isn't going to be any different. So what is likely gonna happen with this medication as the initial excitement wears off is people will initially see those significant weight loss effects. However, over a few months to maybe a year, they may plateau and stop losing weight. And in fact, they may even start to gain weight again, therefore leading to having to increase the weight loss medication if there is an increased dose available or add another weight loss medication on top of that. And that really is going to be the natural progression of this medication, which is why I'm here to tell you that it really isn't a miracle drug. And in fact, there can never be any miracle drug when it comes to being overweight, obese, or blood pressure, or type two diabetes in general. And I say that because again, these diseases or symptoms are all caused by what you're eating, how you're moving, how you're sleeping, 
and your stress. So if you get anything out of this video, I just want you to understand that there are no miracle drugs or cures. And in the end, you are going to be the one that has to do the work if you want to get healthy. And in order to do that, we have to learn how to eat healthier sustainably. We have to learn how to exercise more and sustain it. We have to just practice healthier lifestyle habits in general. And when we do this, we can be free of diseases and symptoms and no longer have to rely on medications. And that is the best way to live, at least in my opinion. Now, eating healthy and changing your lifestyle is extremely difficult which is actually why I created a company called Healthy Coach, which provides professional nutrition coaches to you virtually to help you make these changes for good, right? So we all live busy lives and it's hard to integrate these healthier habits into our life when we have so much other things going on. The benefit of having a nutrition coach is that they're there with you 24 seven over the phone, helping you instill healthy habits in a healthy, sustainable way. Now at Healthy Coach, you have 24 seven access to my coaches who are all professionals and will help guide you and provide you the motivation and accountability you need to finally maintain a healthy lifestyle for good. Now, whether or not you choose to use my company, Healthy Coach, or another professional, at the end of the day, what you have to do is start relying on yourself and try not to always depend just on medications. Now. Medications can be there for you to kind of help and assist, but in the end, you have to be the one that makes those changes. So I hope that this video kind of informed you and gave you a different perspective on these weight loss medications and gave you some motivation and inspiration going forward if you do want to get healthier. Now I encourage you to subscribe to my channel if you aren't already, to stay up to date with all health, nutrition, fitness, and lifestyle information. And if you haven't had enough of me yet, check out this video over here. I think you will really enjoy it. And with that said, I look forward to seeing you in the next video.